Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia, Chapter 335. Okay, last chapter. AFO Tomara, uh, whatever its name is at this point, is, uh, kind of did a crafty move of, like, stealing this random criminal's, uh, quirk so that he could then implant, you know, New Order so that it wouldn't kill him <laughs> but how well is that really going to play out don't really know um he made it seem like he was just going to like keep it there for the time being until he could kind of deal with that rule and then you know take it back in and be like ha 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 i have ultimate power again but the the symbology of all might like continuing was a great notion you know that um star bestowed it was like as long as there's like bravery and people with the will to fight basically it's like you will always have opposition so yeah she's right um and now it seems like the monster trio of class 1a is going to get involved so let's see what we get let's see we have all might with egg So that's supposed to mean something like, oh, my little baby birds are about to hatch. They're about to become adult heroes. But anyway, following the battle between Shigaraki and Star and Stripes, the story uh, once begin or once again returns to UA. Hi. Okay. Fledgling is the title. Okay, makes sense given the the egg, I guess. Star entrusted it to us. The heroes are in the middle of discussing strategies. But what about Shigaraki? Did he take any damage? From the battle that he and uh, the Americans had, or had analysis, or analyzed, blah. I need to zoom in because I can't fucking read. Um, we can deduce that the Stolen Quark New Order is a keen to a poison for Shigaraki and is destroying him from within. It is impossible to tell how many more Quarks he currently has, but it is clear that a considerable stockpile of them has been destroyed. That's sad. I mean, like, sure, these Quarks were being used for evil and might have been taken from horrible people and everything, but it's like, those are powers that may never come again. <clears throat> So, hmm. Then, now we have an unlikely opening. Also, kind of like in Momo's hair, but I still like the, the ponytail look. Uh, or whatever you want to call it, the fan ponytail? Whatever. Anyway, right now we are continuing to prioritize the safety of the general public. The surviving heroes are making haste to search for and rescue any remaining people. Okay, and we're seeing various heroes. However, it is hard to predict the actions of AFO, especially when he is this badly wounded. It doesn't matter if we find him or not. An all-out war is inevitable. Anyways, although I told all of you to not hastily make your move, Shigaraki Tomer is by far our greatest enemy, along with AFO's real body. The insane villain Dobby, whose firepower rivals Endeavor, and the troublesome little girl... Himiko Toga, the remaining six near high nomu, or near high ends, and finally the remnants of the paranormal liberation front. Yeah! Why does this dude in the back kind of look like, like a melting version of frickin' uh, Cementos? Anyway, the ones we need to capture now are not AFO. Also, uh, what's his name? Spectre? Or the, the guy that's like the tech whiz? I've been watching a lot of The Loud House and he looks like Lucy. <laughs> He's the male adult version of Lucy. <laughs> the goth loud. But anyway, the ones we need to capture now are not AFO, but rather the escaped prisoners running amok under his command. Yeah, also he could steal their corks if need be. 
That probably isn't all of them either. You're right. The threats are sure to increase regardless. However, on our side, we've lost more than half of our heroes from the last battle. Oh, shit. That's true. I'm hesitant in saying this, but it's because of Star falling in battle. That we even have this chance in the first place. Make use of it to grow stronger, even if only a little. For now, we must protect ourselves. Er, protect ourselves and those we hold dear. We've already been doing that for ages. <laughs> okay, Bakugo, your blasting scream just knocked All Might for a loop there. Since All Might was always out with Deku-kun, he's only been here for mere moments before leaving again. They don't know how much they've trained. Ever since the Gunga Mountain and Gaku Hospital battle, we've continued our training with the Pussycats. Huh. And... Ojiro is just... Ojiro? No, it's Ojiro. Um, he's getting ripped. <laughs> well, as much as we could in here anyway. Uh, why are you suiting up? <laughs> because they're ready for battle. We all share the same intention to fight alongside Midori until Shigaraki is stopped. Right? Oh, I love them all. Well, then Kachan wanted to practice with me. He said, I'll make sure you master OFA. Ha! I didn't say anything like that. Did your eardrums just get shredded during your little es uh, uh, escapade? All that character development, yet he still hasn't changed. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, so self-aware. I just want to test out my new technique, Cluster. What? If it's effective against someone who wields OFA, then it's damn obvious it can be uh, used against AFO and Shigaraki too. I see. God damn, Todoroki's got some thick fucking forearms now. Well, make sure you use it on me heaps too. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, I, I guess that's so that he can continuously get stronger with his quirk, but fuck Kirishima. He's uh, relegated himself to being the class uh, sandbag now. I gotta get way harder, you know. We have to carry on the will of stars and stripes. I'm going to the courtyard. Who's in? My darling star. I'll never forgive Shigaraki for this. I'm betting that was, uh, Mineta. She's everyone's star, you know. <laughs> All Might's just like, this, this is the generation of heroes we needed. Well then, let's get started, my fledglings. The fragile little legs from the day, from that day have brilliantly hatched. Undeterred by any storm, now they spread their hopeful wings. My nose itches like fucking crazy all of a sudden. All for one, you have done something very foolish. Even the greatest villain makes mistakes. I know that class 1A is strong. All for one. And there is Shigaraki in a cave with his buddies, and he's kind of like, Oh my god, my arms and body and heart and everything fucking hurts. <laughs> mm. You'll be fine, other me. Calm down. Our quark factor is damaged and is, and is in no working condition. As long as we bide our time, we'll be able to use our quarks again. Okay. So he's still getting after effects of it. Okay, I like that. I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I hate you. As long as everyone, or even one person remembers All Might, this hatred will never cease to exist. Our consciousness is fused. I hear you loud and clear. In that violent rage, I too share that hatred with you, Tobra. It'll be fine. Although we weren't able to steal New Order, we've now removed our greatest obstacle. Let's take it slow. It's never a good idea to stick to a single plan. Itchy nose. 
Oh, and Dobby's over there with a bunch of crates. Although everything was carefully prepared, we must wait a little longer. Nope, I'm so done with all this. I couldn't stand the sight of my father flying all nonchalantly like that day. Or like that today. Hmm. Toya-kun, although you and I are very much alike, there is one crucial difference. Oh yeah? Listen closely, a person like me has only one goal firmly in his mind, but plans out many, many routes to get there. Okay, so are you saying that he has w he has many goals, but only one plan? <laughs> then, for Toya? Hmm. Strictly speaking, they're all routes to you only in times of emergency. Why does this look like a log post? <laughs> um, over years, decades, everything I've done was to secure or ensure that single route <sighs> oh, excuse me. converges at my goal. I'll leave him with you until the body is perfected. Meanwhile, Midori Izuku has returned to a fortified UA, but... Uh-oh, what's going on? You see, Toya-kun, therein lies the difference between you and me. What are you seeing? Is freaking Tomura like he's got sight beyond sight? I have a lot of friends. It's finally been confirmed. She is... The traitor. Well, I mean, it was the obvious one. The girl who is invisible is truly the traitor. A shocking reveal. Is the traitor really? Huh. Color spread next week. <laughs> they couldn't even say her name. Hagakure! Um, and that's the end of the chapter. Okay, well... Well, that, that's sad. I was hoping it would be ectoplasm. Because I did that theory for the, um, who is the traitor of UA for teching 101. It's like, th that was a fun time. And I had, it just seemed like a good idea and like motives and everything I had going for me. But was it perfect? No. Hagakure... Sadly, she is kind of the obvious choice. She's invisible. The, the whole thing of like her like not being in her bed that one night and everything. Like I mean, the seeds had been planted for a long time. So finally the flower has bloomed. And that flower is invisible. And doing evil shit. But why would she be teamed up with him, of all people, is kind of weird. Uh, hmm... Maybe it's for maybe she actually wants to be able to be seen. Um, and like she hates her cork, you know, because it it's a dominant trait in her family. Both of her parents are invisible as well, so it's like she was immediately going to be this invisible woman. So maybe she didn't want that, and maybe she's hoping that he'll give her like a new cork, or maybe a cork that works well with hers. That then allows her to, you know, become visible and, you know, allow her to be seen by the world, but still have her invisibility powers as well. Maybe a, you know, violet uh, par situation, you know, from The Incredibles where she had invisibility, but she also had, like, um, protective barriers and stuff. So, like, that would actually be kind of cool if she gained another quirk. Um, which would make a lot of sense, you know, like, especially once she's found out, like, she's gonna have the whole goddamn school after her ass, so it's like, she needs to be able to defend herself, and just running around naked seems like, uh, not a good idea, because they have, uh, what is his name, Watchdog? Wild Dog? Something? One of the teachers, so or faculty because he's like head of security and whatnot so it's like yeah he would track her ass down hunt her down like a dog because he is a dog um 
which is ironic. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. So that long community theory has finally been confirmed. To be honest, we, it had been like going on for so fucking long at this point. We were like, is Horikoshi even like remembering this plot thread? And now it's been confirmed. So yeah, working with AFO, very interesting. Makes sense. I like it. Still a little disappointed that my own theory wasn't confirmed. But hey, I've had plenty in this series, so I don't really care. Um, it's just one little L, two many W's. So I'm fine with it. Um, so yeah, that's all going. Uh, all Might, he is like, my little eggs have finally hatched. These fledglings lead the world to peace and prosperity and safety. So, yes, defeat all evil. The evil I could not myself defeat. Um, so yeah, like, confirming yet again that they lost a lot of their heroes and that the threats going against them are there's the obvious ones, but then there's a large amount of people that probably they don't know anything about. You know, like the escape villains, you know, maybe just like, um, what was it, Dika City? Where, like, the civilians of that city were actually all part of the paranormal uh, liberation front and everything, so it's like that shit could still happen citizens going against the heroes be they villainous or even just like the regular citizens it's like fuck you heroes you couldn't keep us safe so fuck you we'll kill you because we'll fight for our own selves god damn it you know something like that i i could see that being a thing as well even though they have kind of turned that around a little bit so maybe that one's not as commonly possible but we'll see that made no sense that one's less likely um but yeah i could still see like you know cork having people going against the heroes and like joining up with various factions so yes but anyway let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this anything i missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content including one piece that i did early this morning and one punch man that i just had uploaded so enjoy those let me know your thoughts on that um links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me i stream on twitch where i do gaming and i'll tweet out when i go live part of the one punch man podcast on grim reaper's channel so go check that out and as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and until next time keisha lings later days and yeah trader confirmed Oh, God,